that, and we were well rested to meet our host guide. Well, well you can find us on uh, MayflowerOutfitters.com or MayflowerAdventures.com. It's the same uh, same site. We offer a, little, a lot of different packages, like the uh, adventure tourism package, like the culture and nature adventure. We have the hiking adventure, uh, Atlantic salmon, like you, the Atlantic salmon package, like you guys were on. Yes. We have the uh, wildlife adventure, where you're viewing and photography and accommodations if you just want to come here to uh, exp just in enjoy the area. And you don't have to buy packages with us, you can stay at the Mayflower Inn. Yep. Or if you want to purchase uh, outdoor packages, you can stay at uh, our uh, Wilderness Lodge. We offer a great family experience. You do. <laughs> And true to Newfoundland legend, the people in this area are incredible. The folks at Mayflower Adventures and Outfitters are located near the town of Roddington on the Great Northern Peninsula of Newfoundland. There is not too many places on planet Earth you can boast about having two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in your backyard. And on your journey up the Viking Trail to the St. Anthony area, you will see the underground salmon pool. And though it is not a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is soon to become one of the most popular attractions in the area. They have underwater river caves. And what makes these caves so unique is that the Atlantic salmon must travel hundreds of yards to get through their spawning grounds through these underground caves. And there are no records indicating that any human has ever tried to get from one end to the other. This is where the river used to flow. If you look way up straight up through here, you'll see a white cliff and you see how the water used to run on top of the ground here and then it dissolved all the the rock above ground and there's uh, veins of limestone running underneath the ground here so when the water found its way down through the river bed about a mile up through the, uh, the land here northeast of here it found its way down through the ground down down through the river bed and created underground tunnels that run anywhere from 300 to 500 meters. Now, what's so amazing about this place, not only that is underground river caves, Atlantic salmon have to swim through these river caves in order to get to their spawning grounds, which is Booney Lake, halfway across this peninsula. It gives you a new appreciation of salmon because they have to swim, look at where they come from, Norway, Greenland, to just to get here to spawn and then they have to go through the river caves. It shows you how tough these, these fish are. Any fish can get up this river, I'll shake his paw. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if another place, I would really like to know, if there is another place in this world, like uh, where Atlantic salmon have to swim through river caves. We don't know, I've, I've searched it and I can't find it, but I would love to know if there is another place like it. May Mayflower Adventures in the Northern Peninsula of Newfoundland, Canada. What an awesome spot for fishing. A great sea turtle. There is a new pool on the Cloud River. It's called Jen's Ripple. Don't ask me what that means, but I know that they hooked an awful lot of fish. And Jennifer's guide, Ryan Pilgrim, knew where to place that fly on every cast. Oh, what a big fish. Oh, that's wow. a nice fish. Wow. Ah. Okay, wow. folks. Why don't you run over there with him? Hold that up this way, uh, Ryan. That's a nice trout. Pull that up, pull it up a bit. Folks, you're watching the fishing musician. the camera there. There you are. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh! <laughs> gonna let that one go. Oh! Hey! Tell us a bit about your Mayflower Outfitters. Well, well, you can find us on uh, MayflowerOutfitters.com or MayflowerAdventures.com. It's the same uh, same site. My father started this uh, this uh, business, and uh, he it, he started from the love of the land, and the love of fishing, and the love of hunting. Yeah, he uh, well, it was interesting because Shane, your brother, told me that he, his father likes to lug him up when he was five years old up to Cloud River. He was one of the first fishermen I've ever, ever yeah. uh, fought anglers and we, on this river. And we fished in your dad's pool today. That's right. Yeah, right. it's incredible. Yeah. Infamous well, Ross's really nice. pool. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. And the eagles. I mean, gosh, look at the eagles. We saw five eagles today at the mouth of the river and the, the ospreys and we saw caribou and it's just been rather, it's just been one heck of a trip. And uh, few people have never been to Newfoundland and the great northern peninsula and up. These people here will take care of you. So, Come to Newfoundland and you'll really enjoy yourselves. We'll be right back.